Hey everyone, how's it going? I am the Crypto Kid, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the most undervalued cryptos for 2019 and the best cryptocurrency to invest 2019, in my opinion. Now, this video and none of my videos are financial advice, they're just me sharing my opinion and even investments with you guys. So, if that does inspire you to research or invest in this coin, uh, in these coins, sorry, that is your own decision. Um, so let's get right into this video. Uh, before anything, can you please uh, like the video if you do like it, um, subscribe to my channel um, so you can support the channel and help us grow as a community because um, here we all love cryptocurrency and we're all hugely passionate about it um, and it just helps to create a community based off that passion so we can share our, our ideas, thoughts, opinions, strategies, stuff like that guys. So. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm going to be giving you a um, top 10, basically, of coins I think that will be doing good um, in 2019. So by no means am I saying these are going to be the best coins of 2019 or that they have the best technology. I just personally like them. I always have. I probably have done videos on most of them in the past. There may be some new ones that you guys have not. I haven't told you about that. I haven't told you my feelings about them, but yeah, so... Um, overall, I think they're all pretty good coins. Now, number one is going to be XRP. <clears throat> now, XRP, in my opinion, uh, it's ranked second on coin market cap, right? So um, many people will think eventually it could surpass Bitcoin. Now, I'm just looking at um, its potential in 2019, like towards the end of it, if we do have a bull run or Bitcoin starts rising. Because as you know, when Bitcoin does well, some of the or most of the other altcoins that do actually have good tech and or have good like futures or you can we can perceive that they have will have good futures will do well especially in 2019 which is a lot different than 2017 or 2018 was right when most coins didn't have even have good tech or good communities behind them but they were still growing um now xrp is one that's really proven it's probably one of the most proven coins out there there's banks using it already using the technology um to basically send cross-border payments stuff like that guys for and it helps save so many so much money on fees and time really that's a big thing time uh, money is great saving money at the end of the day is amazing but for banks it's all about the time because time is so valuable to them um, and if uh, you can send millions of dollars and do all kinds of things with XRP the token uh, rather than using the basic technology that banks use um, it, it's it's a hugely valuable asset to them and that's why I see it becoming a great thing um, and being very successful in 2019 now I am definitely invested into XRP um, I really love the coin I know it's a lot of people do not like XRP for the reason that it's kind of for the banks and it's kind of with the banks however if we really want to see this space grow guys we're gonna need to have um, a lot of institutional investors coming in and we're going to need a lot behind it. I mean, XLP, other than Bitcoin, is definitely probably the second most known, right? It's been on all kinds of TV shows. Celebrities have talked about it. It's a known coin and it will be continued to, it will be known even more as more banks use its technology, um, especially if banks in America, and I mean, the United States, uh, Canada, UK, start using its tech it's going to become even um huger so that's a great um coin in my opinion and should see great growth in the next coming years it's got market cap of 12 billion it reached an all-time high of already three dollars and 20 cents it's quite undervalued in my opinion right now um and yeah so let's move on to my second coin um is stellar now stellar lumens um the founders actually have close connections with XRP and the Ripple project as they used to work on that. Now, Stellar Lumens is kind of like the, uh, people have called it, compared it to the PayPal of, of cryptocurrency just because it's going to be for the masses um, and people that may uh, need financial services, uh, just want to be able to send payments across borders uh, really fee fearlessly almost and 
time efficiently. So I think Stellar Looms definitely has potential in 2019. I mean, every coin in this list most likely will see significant growth um, when we have the next Bitcoin bull run or the next cryptocurrency bull run, shall I say. Um, just because it's proven it's ranked ninth, um, and all these coins I will be talking about are ranked. I like to stick with coins ranked in the top 50 now, top uh, 25. However, there are some that go out of that with them in this video, but um, most of them stay within that range just because I want to work with coins that are proven, more proven, and uh, not, not proven, but more proven, and have more likelihood of being adopted in the future. I'm talking not, I'm not, I'm not talking about next year, two years, I'm talking about five to ten years, right? Because we obviously know that there's not going to be, how many coins are there right now? There's not going to be 2,106 coins that are all going to be successful in ten years, um, or five years if cryptocurrency is still around, right? It's going to be maybe, maybe ten, I mean, sorry, maybe 20, maybe, maybe 20 coins. It could be less. It could be five. It could be 10. You, you don't know, right? But Stellar Looms, I think, is a good project. It's got a great team behind it, as does XLP. Uh, market cap's $1.5 billion. Um, it's a little less centralized than XLP, um, but it is decentralized. But XLP has been um, kind of hated for its centralization, Um and Stellar Lumens by no means is the most is uh, the most decentralized coin, but at least it is a bit better in the um, that department as XLP. Uh, the market cap is 1.5 billion. As I said, it's reached an all-time high of 80 cents, so it's down quite a bit, right? It's um, probably about 10x from where that was now. So if we want to get back up to 80 cents, we're going to have to do a 10x. So it'd be around a 15 billion dollar market cap if we did that, um, and that's where it was before right so that's my second coin i think it's a great coin i think it will have a good future now cardano now <laughs> guys this is my the third coin i really absolutely love this project so much Pro probably like my second favorite coin um honestly it's just so good uh it's ranked 11th and it's so undervalued right now in my opinion it's so superior to even some of the coins in the top 10 that i see it being such a huge player it's literally like Kind of like the all-in-one, it's just such a, it's going to be build a massive, massive blockchain, smart contract um, platform like Ethereum, but much, much better. Okay, it's 3.0, it's one of the best 3.0, it's got an amazing, amazing team, probably the best team there is of any cryptocurrency, it's got definitely the best team of any cryptocurrency behind it. Um, very intelligent, smart people from all over the globe um, really working on this coin. Market caps around um, 1 billion, 980 million, it reached an all time high of $1. Okay, so $1, and it's at 3 cents right now. now. If that doesn't say undervalued, I don't know what does. Now, I'm not saying pick up this coin now because really, guys, it's hard to say that coins are undervalued when we don't know. Um, how overvalued they were when Bit Bitcoin saw its massive 2017 bull run. However, we can put into perspective just how much Bitcoin has fell and the cryptocurrency market in general has fell, um, that we can say it's pretty undervalued, right? Now, it could definitely go lower. Um, it went to around $0.03 cents here. Uh, it definitely could go lower if Bitcoin decides to um, take a more a while longer to bottom, um, but in the next bull run, Cardano is going to be absolutely amazing in my opinion, uh, and I can't wait to see what it does and what the team brings and what just the community um, how it adopts to Cardano and what what its future is. Okay, so fourth coin, guys, it's going to be Neo. Now Neo um, has really unfortunately not done much lately um i mean the team is still developing like crazy and working on the project like the fundamentals of neo in my opinion are great however it's just lost a lot of its hype unfortunately it's kind of fell off the radar but that doesn't change its technology um you see here it reached an all-time high of 160 dollars ish um so to get back to there take almost around 20x so that's obviously a lot um, of value loss in the coin. It's a market cap of 
459 million, um, and it reached an all-time high market cap of around 10 billion. So obviously there was um, a lot of <laughs> bloodshed there, and it did not do well in the bail market. However, I believe that the DAP platform behind Neo and just the it's probably the well, it's debatably the best DAP platform. I think, in my opinion, it is the best decentralized um, application platform. Um, now, and it's also backing many other projects. Uh, on Ontology, um, very um, close to Neo, the founders of it. Uh, the team at Neo is amazing. They're all very intelligent people um, and constantly bring out new developments. And I think it's definitely going to be the best DAP platform if it isn't already. Um, and should see a lot of growth in the next bull run we have. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just a great coin. And I, I love it. I've always loved Neo. I think I've mentioned it in most of my best videos and yeah i will continue to do that now i accidentally showed you guys a sneak peek there but yeah so the fifth coin here is also one of my favorites v chain um it's a coin that i'm pretty heavily invested into um it's amazing it's now on its own blockchain we um had its main that launch uh, a few months ago and i think it's Definitely the best supply chain token um, or cryptocurrency, and will definitely be the the one that gets adopted most in that industry in that in that um, field because it's just amazing technology, in my opinion. And I think it will see a great amount of growth, especially the since it's only at two hundred eleven million dollar market cap. It used to be in the top 15 at one point i believe um it's quite undervalued right now as is the rest of the market compared to the previous highs but v chain's one that i feel like it's just gonna see massive growth in the next bull one it's gonna i in my opinion right i think the team is great i think the technology is great i think the the hype around it is definitely veil and it could be it could be more but i think it's definitely just growing more people are talking about v chain than they did before um and i think it's going to be a big thing right because the reason why i value um kind of i always obviously value the team and the to technology um a lot right that's probably 80 percent. i value that however a big chunk of it goes to is the hype around the coin how do they market the coin that's a big 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 deal and i think vchain does a great job at that um they're on all kinds of exchanges the biggest exchanges they're known by pretty much everyone in the community in the top 25 i think if it doesn't have growth there's something wrong uh, because it's just such a good coin in my opinion and yeah so that's my fifth so this one may be a bit controversial. Uh, many people do hate on Neo. I mean, sorry, Neo. I mean, Nano. Sorry, many people hate on Nano. Um, it's ranked forty uh, one on Coin Market Cap. It's got market cap of a uh, hundred and seven million, reaching all time high of twenty two dollars. Um, that's just insane. How much we've fallen since then, down to eighty cents, guys. Um, it used to be called Raybox, if you didn't know, but basically. Nano, the reason I love it so much is because it doesn't even use, um, they, well, they don't call it blockchain technology, but it's on its own kind of technology and it's extremely fast, one of the fastest coins around. It's completely fearless, um, so fast, it's ridiculous. I forget even how many transactions per second, but it's just an insane amount. Um, that's not even needed, it's way above um, Visa or any of the big. Um, uh, financial, uh, financials in the like credit cards, banks. It's it's way above that technology, and it's so fast that I feel like it's going to be one that's adopted and used by a lot of people because it's so fast and because it's so feeless. You can send money um, or funds anywhere at any time to anyone, right? Um, it's one that I could see being used in retail departments online to buy products, um, to buy 
<laughs> like Starbucks, let's say, but I just see it being such a uh, adopted cryptocurrency. It does ha definitely have some um, flaws. I mean, I wouldn't say the team is the best. They are decent, they're good. I wouldn't say it's the best. Technology is definitely there for me, not there for everyone, but it's there for me. The branding could be a bit better, the marketing could be a bit better, but I love the technology of the coin. I just love Nano. I've always has have, and I probably always will, and always will be behind this coin. Now it used to be like in the top twenty-five, um, but obviously in the bear, mar bear market, it did not do so well. And right now, um, it's I would say it's undervalued since its all-time high was at thirty-two dollars. Now that was extremely overvalued when it was at that point, but still, um, it lost an, just an insane amount. Of its all-time high over I think 90 98 percent of it or 99 percent it's just insane right um, so yeah I think Nano will do well and hopefully does well um, I'm pretty not heavily invested but I am invested into Nano because I just love the coin now the six is gonna be basic attention coin or is this the seventh it may be the seventh I don't know what number one but Basic attention token, um, not coin, uh, or BAT, is ranked 37th, market cap of 133 million, reaching an all time high of around 80 cents. So, um, down quite a bit from its all time high. I would say it's a bit undervalued. Um, and basic attention token has got a lot, a lot going for it. Um, number one, it's technology, great technology. It's going to be, in my mind, the best uh, advertising digital advertising token out there it's going to improve advertising on the internet now advertising on the internet is growing year after year just taking over every um av previous um kind of advertising space it's just becoming the end all and be all especially with facebook youtube um, all kinds of different ways you can market your business your services nowadays it's just However, with the amount, massive amount of growth in that field, there also comes a massive amount of problems. And I think basic attention token fixes a lot of those problems and makes it just a lot easier and cheap, um, cheaper to um, advertise um, in a way that's not um, kind of annoying, um, not, I wouldn't say annoying, but disrupting the user experience, right? Um, they're uh, partnered, well not partnered, but they, they're used on the Brave browser, Brave browser, which is what I'm using right now, um, as a way you can actually collect basic attention tokens by viewing advertisements if you'd like, however they're not annoying, uh, annoying ads, they're actually ones that you don't mind, you don't really even notice, and you, or you can just completely block ads on Brave um, because it is like a decentralized kind of browser, um, more, more free, um, free faster they say and i think it is i really love the browser but yeah they're uh, closely related to that browser and i see it being the end on be all for digital advertising in cryptocurrency space i mean there's other people other people do, um not other people but other cryptocurrencies doing similar thing like adx and um ad, uh, i think ad shares is one um but yeah i think basic attention token is definitely superior and the main thing it's got going for it in my mind um, maybe this is just because of my mindset from 2017 or 2018, but it's it's listed on Coinbase, um, and that's obviously a big deal because, especially when a lot of new people are coming into the market, they want something easy, um, quick to buy crypt, uh, Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency in general with their bank account where they can hold it and sell it, and Coinbase allows this. It was one of the biggest apps of 2017 and um pretty popular in 2018 and it's just so easy it's like it's just like it's just how a lot of people have gotten i'm i mean i would say majority of people that first bought cryptocurrency most likely in, in 2017 that first came into market in 2017 or 2018 went to coinbase first and bought it and the and the thing is is that now you can buy it on coinbase and it's actually the lowest price coin on coinbase in terms of price per token and i know that doesn't matter we all know that doesn't matter because it's really about the market cap but in people's minds and this is like a lot with stock market too people love to own 
thousands of coins. If they can pay ten thousand dollars, let's say, to own one coin, um, that's way better, right? In way better technology, a lot of people would actually rather go with a coin that's only a hundred dollars, right? So they can own a thousand of them. But in their minds, it's better. It's just it's kind of just like emotional thing, even though maybe the the technology may not be as good. I'm not saying that with basic attention token. I think basic attention token is amazing. However, it's just that's going to be a great um, kind of benefit they have, an advantage they have over other coins, especially when people want to diversify their investments and go to other coins rather than just Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Ethereum. So yeah, that is that. I think it's a great coin. Now, Icon. Icon is one that's not talked about that much anymore. I've always loved this coin. I've talked about it a lot on my channel, and I think it saw huge, huge losses. $89 million market cap, ranked 47th. It used to be like in the top 25. Saw all-time high of $12, so obviously down a crazy, crazy amount, guys. Icon has unfortunately seen a, just a huge loss. I don't even know how to explain it. Because I was pretty invested into this coin. Um, and obviously that has sucked in the past or not been good in the past couple months um, or past year, sorry, with the bail market. But I see it being so un undervalued at the moment. And it's a great project building one of the biggest decentralized blockchains ever. And it's going to be hopefully connecting universities, hospitals. Uh, in, uh, tons of different institutions um, and the goal is obviously to create just a massive blockchain to transfer data and be an amazing amazing platform with, um, that is superior to many other uh, blockchains just faster or smaller or, um, and yeah I see it being definitely a big player in the future maybe when Bitcoin does have its next bull run, I think I see it growing a lot. I mean, it's kind of unfortunately underhyped at the moment and really not talked about as much as it used to. But I feel like as um, more developments come out with it, the team releases more things because I do like the team. I do like the project. do like the technology. do like the fundamentals and do like the price and the marketing of it. Um, I see it's going to be really grow a lot in that time. Last now the next one is Elastos. Now this is perhaps one of my favorite coins. It is ranked ninety third, so it's a a lot lower market cap than the other coins. It's only thirty million dollar market cap, reaching an all time high of eighty dollars. Yes, guys, eighty. Yep, I just said that eighty dollars. It's only two dollars right now. So obviously, it's had a rough bear market. Um, but it's still staying strong. The team's amazing, absolutely amazing team. Con consistently coming out with new, more developments, updates, good marketing. A lot of people know about this coin, which is good. It's on a lot of big exchanges. Um, obviously undervalued in my opinion at the moment. I think it's seen too much of a uh, downfall that I don't see it going much lower, to be honest. It's been hovering around this point for a while now. It's trying to build basically the... A decentralized operating system, decentralized internet, let's say, um, and it's good. I think it's the definitely, definitely, definitely the best um, coin um, cryptocurrency out there to do this. There's a lot. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but a good amount of other cryptocurrencies doing a similar kind of thing, or at least trying to do it. But Elastos, in my opinion, is superior to these other projects that are trying to build a decentralized internet where people's data, they own their data more, they own their books, their games, their movies, stuff, all kinds of stuff like that. They are in way more control of it and there's a lot more obviously privacy with it and it's just going to be superior in my opinion and I think Elastos definitely has the best odds of becoming the mostly most adopted um, decentralized internet in the future. And yeah, that's the last one. It's great, great coin. Last one is one I never have talked about on this channel. Um, and that is Ravencoin. Now, I've been recently introduced into this coin. I've been recently learning more about it. I'll probably um, make more videos on it. Maybe reviews, um, explanations, maybe even price predictions. However, I want to kind of stay away from those uh, for now, guys. Just because I feel they don't bring 
the value they should um, and I should be talking more about the technology of the coin, the technicals, and stuff like that. So Ravencoin is, um, <coughs> sorry, not even a cent. Uh, market cap of twenty-seven million, similar to Elasso's, but lower. Uh, reaching all-time high here. Um, actually, recently in October, its all-time high was, as it hasn't been out for the massive bull run we saw at the end of twenty seventeen. It actually came out. Um, later in like March ish of 2018, but yeah, it reached an all time high of um, around five cents. Um, oh, sorry, nine cents, five to nine cents. Um, so obviously, it's down quite a bit from there. Um, not down as much as other coins, but Ravencoin is a fork of Bitcoin and um, it's its own blockchain, however. It is on its running on its own blockchain, but it is a fork of Bitcoin, and it's basically, in my opinion, going to be the best um, asset transferring cryptocurrency, or well, hopefully one of the best, one of the best, not the best, one of the best um, cryptocurrencies to transfer assets, all kinds of different assets, um, all around the globe, um, in a fast and um, inexpensive manner. Um, which would be great for institutions, regular um, retail investors, just people, regular people, and big businesses. I think Ravencoin is going to be a great, great um, um, coin for the future as it brings so much to the table. The technology is great. The team's great. The marketing is insanely good. So many people have know about this coin and are talking about this coin. It's on big exchanges. Um, it's lo loved by a lot of people. Has a great community, um, and I think a lot of potential for the future. As we haven't even seen a crazy bull run for it. We've seen, I mean, decent a lot of growth, but nothing compared to what other coins had in 2017. So, guys, when the market really hits off, it's gonna be insane i think for ravencoin it's going to be an insane bull run um it's going to just honestly be probably one of the best growths of any coin in my opinion in my opinion um when we see the next bull run so yeah that is the last coin guys i did hope you enjoy this video i hope it did give you a little insight into my feelings on these coins and why I feel it. I know I didn't go into in depth with the technology or even the technicals. I just wanted to go over what I feel great coins. So maybe you guys can do your own research on these coins and see why I like them so much. Because obviously I don't want to tell you guys to invest in any coin. I'm not saying you should invest in any of these coins I've talked about because you need to know that cryptocurrency is volatile, very volatile, very risky. Um, it does not matter what we've seen in the past history for Bitcoin or any any bull runs or bear markets or any coin really, it, because the future could obviously um, tell us different things. And um, I, that's why I just want to let you guys know that so you don't go <laughs> investing everything into a coin that I said, oh, I like, right? Because I like a lot of different coins. I could give you a list of top could give you a list of 30 coins that I really like, but there's only a certain amount of coins that I actually put my money behind, put my um, money where my mouth is, um, and actually like, because all these coins I have dabbled into a bit. I'm not invested heavily into all these coins, but I am invested in in some way um, or in s some amount in, in most of these coins I've talked about, um, and I think they are great. Um, just great overall technologies and and teams and um, just the the overall coin I think is great uh, for most of the coins I've talked about in this video. Some I like better than others, as I've said. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I enjoy making it. Um, I'm really, really thankful for all the support you've been giving me lately. I just came back to YouTube after a four month delay and I haven't seen anyone, anyone even really going at me for it. You guys have been really supportive um, and I hope you can continue watching my videos as I will be posting them frequently, uh, probably at least four times a week. Um, 
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, button, subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, um, if you do want to buy some cryptocurrency um, after you've done your own research and stuff like that, and if you're actually really um, wanting to, there will be a link in the description for Coinbase and you'll get free $10. And so will I. Um, it's like an affiliate link. Um, so we both win. It's a win-win scenario. That's if you're already going to buy $100 or more of um, cryptocurrency at Coinbase. So you might as well get that free $10 if you do want it. But if not, no no problem. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned and have a great day. Peace.